filet mignon seared and pan roasted to perfection and served with a cool and spicy crab salad. Now, this particular crab salad, I've used it on a couple of different applications. Let me tell you, if, if you make the crab salad, you can stuff it into a hollowed out avocado, which is absolutely delicious, especially in the summer. It's just fresh and light and clean. All right, so we've got some uh, uh, mayonnaise here. All right, then what we're gonna do is hit it with a little bit of sambal, which is sensational. And we're gonna use this to give our crab meat some punch. And it's an Asian chili paste that you'll find in a lot of, um, a lot of uh, sort of Asian markets, also in grocery stores. You can find it pretty much everywhere. So we got mayonnaise, we got sambal. Um, then what we're gonna do is chop up some fresh cilantro. I'm just gonna take the leaves off. All right, we're gonna roll it up. We're gonna chop it up fairly fine. All right, we're taking a lime here. Just give it a good squeeze. All right, we're gonna take a spatula and just gonna give everything a stir from the bottom to the top. All right, and in two seconds, you're gonna have a great pink chili mayo, and the flavors are fantastic. Perfect. Then we're gonna take our clean crab meat, and we're just gonna rake it into our dressing, just like that. All right, cool. Then we're gonna go back in one more time and just stir everything together. So we get everything well incorporated. A little bit of salt. All right, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Right on top. All right, and we are ready to go. We're gonna put plastic actually right on top of the crab to keep the air off of it. All right, and throw it right into the fridge. How easy was that? So you're gonna add some olive oil to this and let it come up to a pretty good smoke. And I've got four fillets here. And we've also got a little bit of string and we're gonna tie these fillets up. Um, so the strings are, are probably a little longer than a foot. So we're gonna make sure we get you know, plenty of space around the fillet. We're gonna cut these guys open and we're gonna tie them up. Now, when you tie the fillets, you do this for a specific reason. It's really gonna hold the shape of the fillet together because sometimes when they get hot, they can have a tendency to kind of relax and lose their shape. And also it's gonna cook a lot more evenly um, when it's one good piece. So we're talking about a medium rare, it's a true medium rare, not just a little sliver of pink all the way through. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's what a difference a little bit of string makes, huh? Isn't that cool? We're gonna tie up the fillets and then we're gonna season them right here on the tray. All right, we're gonna season these up with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I like to season uh, meat on either this plastic tray or on a plate. That way you can kind of go back through and scoop up all the like, little bits of salt and pepper left over so you make sure you're not wasting anything. All right, so I'll check out the pan. We got a little bit of smoke going on. You don't want to catch the house on fire, but you definitely want it hot enough to caramelize the protein of the beef because color is flavored. All right, so drop these into our pan here. All right, and this is it, man. You know it's gonna taste really good. All right, so heavy cast iron pan, really high temperature, some good olive oil, and sear away, and you have a fantastic filet mignon with just salt and pepper on top of it. We're gonna get these uh, filets into the oven. You gotta see the color on the other side. They're absolutely fantastic. Take a look at this. That's out of sight. Color is flavor when you're talking about uh, pan searing a beautiful piece of meat like this. And the same process works for pork chops or lamb chops or anything. And this is a really great technique. Check this out, guys. We've got a bag of cherry tomatoes. They're still attached to the vine, or at least some of them are anyway. And we're gonna roast them whole. I washed them off actually in the bag. And we're just gonna place the cherry tomatoes right into the pan. All right, it's kind of an interesting presentation. I think it looks really kind of rustic. We're gonna roast everything together and the cherry tomatoes are just gonna start to burst. They're full of natural sugar, great flavor. And they're gonna really complement the flavor of the steak and the spicy crab salad we're gonna put on top. All right, so we got a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on top of the tomatoes. We hit these guys. All right, a little bit of kosher salt. All right, a little bit of fresh packed pepper. And we're gonna throw this into the oven. Now we got 400 degree oven. We're gonna roast these for about 12 minutes. If you like a well done steak, you'll probably be up to 20. If you like it nice and rare, maybe around eight. But for a medium rare medium, about 12 minutes would be perfect. Oh yeah. 
They're absolutely beautiful. We get seared pan roasted filet mignon. And we also roast some cherry tomatoes right along the side with them. All right, I've got some kitchen shears. I'm gonna go through and just pop the string off. The cherry tomatoes and the beef fat and the extra virgin olive oil have kind of blended down the bottom, and it's actually quite beautiful. It smells fantastic. So we got a pair of tongs here. We're gonna pull these guys out. Look how lush those are, huh? And we're gonna take these beautiful cherry tomatoes, check these out. Just kind of drop them in between. And the cherry tomatoes are just about the burst. And I like the presentation with the, the vines attached too. And they're like little bursts of tomato sauce. Got a great flavor. I've got a great cherry tomato sauce almost right down the bottom of this pan. And again, it kind of mixes in with just some of the beef fat. All right, so we're not gonna lose that. We're gonna put it right down on the bottom of the plate. So it's nice and rich. Then we're gonna top each one off with our fresh crab salad we made earlier. Check it out, check it out. Now the crab is pasteurized cooked crab meat. We toss that with a beautiful fresh chili mayo. All right, it's got a little sambal, a little bit of mayo, some cilantro, lots of lime juice. The flavors are fresh. It's a beautiful presentation. It's light and easy. If you got a celebration, why not do it with surf and turf? 